Yeah! All right, what is up? This is Slow Plays, and I am back at it again with some more Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 DLC Pack 15 news and content here on the channel, guys. It is that time, that time of year. I mean, we, we've already had several Content City TV broadcasts, uh, you know, before DLC 14 came out earlier this year. Now, this is crazy how close this DLC is going to be to the release of the previous one. Usually, it's like five to six months at a general level. This time around, it looks like it's only been two months since DLC Pack 14 officially launched in July. So, uh, this isn't the release or anything. This is just the teasers that they do, which could be, you know, something where uh, it goes into, I want to say, potentially early 2023. But most likely, my prediction, okay, this is just my prediction, it's not confirmed, is that this might be dropping during the winter of this year, just because the winter is one of the best times to release any type of content, especially when it comes to DLC and you know bandai and dimps and stuff they usually tend to do that uh they have a summer release and then they have a winter release which again is a very smart decision so let's go ahead and get into this the seventh broadcast of content city tv will air on september 1st that is tomorrow okay september 2nd cest uh which i believe is europe time or whatever and the supreme kai time trunks will be delivering the latest news so join me tomorrow live okay live at these times, here's the broadcast schedule. So the first broadcast is going to be uh, the second, which is September 2nd at 3, uh, I think that's 3 a.m. CEST. So uh, shout out to my boy Burkhall. He stays up, bro. <laughs> he stays up for this. So those of you that live in uh, the UK or just, you know, the European regions or whatever, um, you know, you're going to have to stay up. That's usually how it is. Uh, on the first, uh, what is it, for uh, pretty much everywhere else, I mean, at least... Most of my audience, I think, is in uh, the U.S., America. That'll be at, uh, it looks like 6 p.m. Uh, Pacific time. So that should be 8 p.m., I want to say, uh, for C CST, which is my time, uh, Central. And then it'll be 9 p.m., uh, which is uh, EST. So I think that's usually what it is. I, th I, I think they've always gone for that time. Um, sometimes they'll do it on like a Friday. Sometimes they'll do it on like a, a Wednesday. Uh, but generally they like to do it on a Thursday, which I believe tomorrow is Thursday. So, uh, the other broadcasts, I mean, I'm not going to go over all of them. If you want to look at them, you definitely can. Um, it's not, the broadcasts are not different. They're all the same. It's going to be whatever's shown at the first broadcast will be shown on these other ones. They just give people a chance if you want to maybe go with your friends. Like it's like a movie <laughs> in a way. So yes, um, man, I'm so excited, dude. Um, even though, like I said, it's been so close to the previous DLC, I'm ready for it. We know, I, w I don't want to confirm it, but like we know for a fact it's got to be superhero content, okay? The teasers that they had with Piccolo saying they are coming, you know, it makes sense. So let's see some reactions from people. We're, we're all getting tagged in it, which I love. Yep, people know, Gamma 1, Gamma 2. Now, again, Gohan Beast, Beast Gohan, whatever you want to call it, and Orange Piccolo. <gasps> I don't know about that yet. For now, at least for this one, maybe we'll get a teaser for them, maybe. But I think it's mainly, it, it, it might be Gamma 1 and 2, or it might be Gamma 1, and then the next broadcast will be Gamma 2. They're very similar characters. Um, I, I've said this before, there are a lot of moves that were in the movie that they could easily incorporate into this, uh, such as like Gamma 2's uh, onomatopoeia effects background effect moves that he has they could have that as like supers uh it could be an ultimate you know in dragon ball legends they have every pretty everything pretty much made um gamma 2 has uh the the you know red laser beam sort of thing or sorry was that did i say gamma 2 gamma 1 had the red laser beams gamma 2 <clears throat> i believe he had he shot like a little e like a little shark evil blast thing or what i don't know what to call it um and they both have a like flaming kick like it's it, it, it was like one of the coolest looking things ever so they have a giant flaming kick that descends so that could be a thing as well so free update better have the outfit as a gift for custom mentor pickle that'd be worth it for the tp battles bro i agree yo free update give me trunks and go 10 drip i honestly could care less about anyone else and what they wore or what it was maybe do pan because pan was like super prominent um pans go to hell shirt or whatever the the black and white one with the little uh devil on it was sick and i love the padded uh gloves that she has those are sick um but yeah goten and trunks they definitely had a very 
um, unique type of drip. I know, okay, G Goten, Goten just has like the Yamcha Gi, but make it green or whatever. I'll take it. I'll take it. They've done it before. Like, you know, um, let's fucking go. <laughs> let's go, dude. It's time, man. If they drop Gohan Beast in this pack, I will literally die. I'm really, I'm setting my expectations low and it's just going to be Gamma 1 and 2. I just feel like Beast Gohan and Orange Piccolo, it's way too soon. But then again, Gogeta Blue and Broly, Full Power Broly came out literally like less than a month later or at the same the same time as when the movie dropped. So it's like they could definitely do it. Now the Japanese side pretty much says the same thing or whatever. So again, my last minute predictions, definitely Gamma 1 and 2 have to be in this pack. I don't know how they're going to um, organize this or how they're going to go about doing this if they're going to make Gamma 2 like a preset. I saw some people saying like, oh, they should just make him like a the second preset of Gamma 1 since they're, they're literally the same. Okay, it, you know, the, the background effects or whatever for Gamma 2 is, you know, obviously different. So if they wanted to, they could make him separate characters. I'm, I'm not going to complain. I'll buy it. I'm going to play it. Um, I thought Gamma 1 and 2 were kind of stupid when I first saw them. I just didn't really, I wasn't really a big fan. I was like, yeah, whatever, you know, they're in there. I know they're not the main villain. But after seeing the movie, and I think most people can agree with me, after you watch the movie, it's, it, it makes you want merchandise for these characters. It really does. For me personally, it really does. Um, but yeah, again, Beast Gohan, um, I don't know what they could add for him, really, other than his new special beam cannon that he uses, which I mean is, it's just like a red and blue version of it. Um, no, they can always make shit up too, okay? And it looks like they've had a lot more time compared to when the Broly movie released because this is what? It's been like three months, almost four months since the drop of uh, the movie. So actually three months, sorry, not four months. But when this drops, it, like I said, it, mo it most likely will be, I'm going to predict the winter. But we'll see. We'll see. Stay tuned. Like, subscribe, ring my notification bell if you guys want more news and content. Again, join me live tomorrow. We're going to be streaming this and having a good time. The streams are always fun. All right. Peace. <laughs> this is Broly. And you are watching Slow Plays. Make sure to subscribe or else I'll destroy your entire planet. <laughs>